welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i will going to show you how to design the elbow this elbow we will design this elbow in this video so without wasting more time let's start the video so first of all click on this start option mechanical design part design click ok now select any one of the plane you want i will select xy plane and click on this option sketch now this is our 2d sketch of elbow so first of all um, we make this upper plate of elbow for that we, we have to draw the three circles first circle of radius uh, 42 and second diameter 20 and third radius 20 so let's draw that circle first click double click on the circle for multiple circles first circle second circle I want here another circle here let's specify the dimension of circles for that click on the constraint I want the circle of radius 42 and this circle I want 20 radius and this circle I want diameter of 20 and you can see here this circle is also on this side for that I need these two circles this side as well for that which I simply mirror that circle to this side so for, for that click on this mirror option select the profile that you want to mirror and select the reference line you can see our profile is mirrored now let's specify the distance between these two circles you can see over here I want that distance 120 it's specified click on the constraint center point of circles I want this distance 120 now simply now draw the tangent to all the circles for that select the tangent double click on the tangent and draw the tangent lines ok now remove the unwanted lines for that click the click on the trim option I do not want this line trim 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 this also okay our profile is ready now exit from the workbench I want this profile of thickness 10 you can see our, up, our, up plate, our upper plate is ready now now for this bottom elbow part first of all we have to draw this center line with radius of 60 okay let's draw that first select the plane select this plane click on the sketch take the line command draw the line again perpendicular to this line ok now specify the dimensions of lines I want this line of 160 zoom all this line also 160 now let's give this radius 60 click on the corner I want radius of 60 ok our center line is ready exit from our bench now next is we have to draw the two circles again this 60 and 72 diameter for that select the, this bottom uh, surface of plate click on the sketch option take a circle one circle and this two circle specify the dimensions of circles I want this circle 72 and this circle I think 60 ok again exit from workbench now this is the important part of elbow 
I need this profile this elbow profile so for that click on this rib option click select the profile that you want to rib and select the center line you can see how that bottom portion of elbow is designed now uh, this upper plate I want on this surface as well for that I, I do what uh, for that I just simply copy and paste this plate to this surface so go to the T diagram copy that sketch paste it okay reposition of that sketch change the sketch support now select the surface I want on this surface ok click ok give the pad to this profile as well select the pad select the profile click ok option now our elbow is almost ready just uh, we need hole on this profile this plate and this plate I will need a hole of 60 so let's drill that hole select the hole option select the surface that you want to hold on that simply click on the sketch option again where it goes ok now this dot on, on this dot we will going to drill the hole for that I need this dot at exactly center so let's constrain the dot at center ok exit from workbench specify the diameter of holes I want a hole of 60 diameter ok option click ok you can see our first hole is successfully drilled <coughs> now let's drill the second hole so for second hole again select the hole select the surface on which you want to drill the surface click on the sketch option again constrain this dot in center for that select the constrain ok our now our dot is at exactly center exit from the workbench now specify the dimensions so dimension already specified simply click on the ok option ok now let's give the chamfer to the this surface click on the chamfer I will need chamfer of 4 mm length and 45 degree click ok give the chamfer to this surface as well select the chamfer select the surface that you want to give chamfer specify the dimensions and click the ok option ok our elbow is ready you can change the material of this elbow as well for that you have to change the view position material with shaded click the part body and this on simply click apply materials select any material you want I, I select this material ok you can see our elbow is ready this elbow is simply used for the pipeline in any pipeline or anything that you any fluid that you want to transfer one one point to another point or change the direction of that fluid for that purpose this elbow is used this elbow is very simple to design so if you like this video please subscribe for more cutter related video um, press that bell icon so okay bye see you in the next video